Yujiko. Pretty much, um, he a producer, known for making, um, inspirational bass music. Pretty much, he's, um, he born from Japan, and, uh, wait, wait, what the fuck is Snail's house? Wait, are, wait, that's the same thing? Wait, 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 why the fuck am I googling this shit? Okay. Huh? It's, it's, it's his song. He made that song. So starting off with the percussion, you want it's just basic stuff, you know, you got your kick, you got the, um, the snare, clap, this thing, hi-hats, and they do the, you know, the you got this thing, and you got that thing. All together it'll be something like this, you know. If you're wondering like where I got these samples, um, the guy himself actually uploaded the samples. So like, like as you can see right here, just some advice. If you're gonna do this, just be careful who grabs them. If it goes to the wrong hands, like me, you can pretty much say goodbye to your career. <laughs> There's a water drop, or maybe you could just add a bunch of these. There's like a screech too he likes to put. Man, this cookie looks pretty good, you know? Now for the chords, basically, um, Hawaii music is usually in, you know, C major. Okay, so first you do this, you do this thing, and then you do this. And then you do, you know, the minor thingy, or you could go to the major thingy, you know? And then, then you do this, like that makes sense. But this song we're making, we're not gonna do in C major. You know what we're gonna do besides C major? D flat major. <laughs> so like how you wanna do the melody, like so for the sounds you want, you it's just basically game sounds. You want one kind of like a kawaii sounding thing. And then you want like a, uh, you want this thing. And then all together. And if you're wondering how you get this like weird 8-bit um, sound, you kind of like, you add this weird fucking thing. You add the lo-fi, you like do it this, because pretty much what this does, um, it makes your audio sound like shit. Oh yeah, did, did, did I ever mention you want like an 8-bit drum thing? You know the melody, like it has to do it, do, like the do it, do, 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 do. Pretty much just copy that and you just, you do it here. Use a serum this time. So you want a vibrato thing that goes like the D, D. So basically, you want to sound something like this, and then then you want another one. It's got to sound jazzy, you know, like you like jazz. And there's like a sub bass. Okay, so then 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 you add like another bass. But then, then there's like, he likes to put some like glittery stuff. Oh yeah, he likes to do this too. It's like 80 sound. Yeah, and then like all together. Ooh! Then like, um, then for like your build up. Dude, like I didn't even finish the build up yet. <laughs> That, yeah, just add a fucking build up. Add some like rise thing. Add some impact. Add this thing. Yeah, you're following along, guys. And then, then you want the, the do 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 thing. Then, as you can see, like these automations, you just do this. Yeah, you want this thing a lot. He does this a lot. So basically, I didn't even record the lead, but like, you want to lead kind of like, you know, this. Oh! 
Oh! Oh yeah! Oh! 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 Now mixing isn't actually that complicated. Like all you're gonna need is you know your sound goodizer, your sausage fattener, your pixelator. There's one more effect you need the most. It is not only OTT. You're gonna need inspiration. I think we're done with the track. Let's hear it. Wait. Wait, why why wait, why is it not working? Dude, what the Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me.